Hi everybody and welcome to True Wants. Right here we try to help you make that decision if it's going to change from a want to a need. If you are new to my channel, I really hope you will choose to subscribe. It's free and it's easy. It's the red button that you'll see right underneath this video. If you press it and it turns gray, you're in. It's that simple. There's also that bell beside that subscribe button that I always recommend that you press. It's called the notification bell. And what ends up happening is YouTube will notify you just once that I have uploaded a brand new video. I do upload a lot and sometimes my videos are time sensitive so I don't want you to miss out so make sure to press that subscribe button ring that bell and you'll be in the know also in that same area there is that thumbs up and that's where you guys come in if you enjoy the content that I make and that I make so much of it please take a second when you arrive to hit that thumbs up it will turn blue the number will increase and that's you helping true ones get noticed on this huge YouTube platform so I'm thanking everyone in advance for the thumbs up okay guys this is something I like to do after I receive all my boxes. I like to go in and double check to see what all of the potential products could have been in my boxes. So if you're like me, let's get started. And if I've had the opportunity to try any of the products, I will make sure to share that with you too. All right. So I set it all up on my computer so that we can go through it together. So this is for the base box. These are items that could we have potentially been a variation depending on the variation and your choice set and what we would have received in our boxes. So starting with now in the base box, we now have the Tarte Breezy Cream Blushes. This was a product that was in the premium box and it was a takeover box from Tarte. The next one is from Complex Culture. This is their Baked Highlighter and Bronzer Quads. These are stunning and I have them and I'm really, really enjoying them. Natasha Denona, this was such a coup when this first got into our boxes, but a lot of us have received this at this point, but if you haven't, it is really beautiful. It is Natasha Denona. One side is a cream blush, and the other side is a powdered highlighter. Then from KVD, the Locket Powder Foundation. This is also an extremely beautiful product. This is one that we had the opportunity to choose our shades, and here you'll have the opportunity. It looks like there's still 26 shades still available in here, so hopefully... If you did get it, you got the opportunity to choose the shade on that one. The next item that is in here is the one from DIME Beauty and Company. They're saying it is an eyelash boost serum. This I did not receive, but if you have, please make sure to share that in the comments down below. I was hoping to receive this item from Item Beauty. This is the Quick Stick Moisturizing Lip Color but I get two base boxes and it wasn't in either of them. But this is looks like a beautiful product and I really enjoy the Item Beauty brand as well as their lip products in particular. But I've heard all the news and I'm a little disappointed that uh, her and another influencer who is a male influencer who had a skincare line are no longer gonna be sold through Sephora. And now on uh, Addison Ray's website for Item Beauty, she did a statement that she's really going to sit back now and review her future in reference to this brand. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it will keep going because every product I have tried from her skincare to her makeup, I have really, really enjoyed. The Lovecraft Beauty, this was one that I received in my box as well. This is a very unique product and it has like a coppery bronze color to it. And they're saying you can use it on your eyelids as well as your cheeks and your lips. The next item that we have here is from Persona. This one I did receive and it is beautiful. It says in the card, on the card, that it is sheer. It is not sheer. I wore it when I did my unboxing and you can see how bright and vibrant the red color was. It was definitely not sheer, but it was very, very hydrating. But it is one that I suggest, which is what I did, is put on a lip liner so that you don't have it, uh, as I say, going beyond the lip line. Then we have from Shanna B. Miami. I did not receive this, so if you have, please share that in the comments down below. Alamis, this is a fantastic, fantastic toner. I have received it in the past in a different scent, in an apricot scent, and I'm already halfway through it. It is such a treat. And then in one of my boxes, I got the hydrating, and then the other one that we could have received, which I didn't, was the one in lavender. But I'm not a lover of lavender, but the scent is so faint on the one that I have that is apricot, I don't think it would be a problem. Then we have from Touch and Soul, this is the Pretty Filter Water Glow Cream. 
This I did not receive in BoxyCharm, but I did receive it uh, in a previous box from another company called American Influencer when they had the takeover box from the Touch and Soul. This cream is beautiful. And as a combo girl, I'm always hesitant when it comes to certain creams, but with the Touch and Soul one, this one in particular, it is a lightweight and it is beautiful. Then in one of my boxes, I got this True and Luscious Angel Eyes Primer. I didn't know that there were three different shades, so that's good to know. But I think I got the middle shade, but it might be based on my profile. So I was happy with that. Then from Farah, we got the Liquid Eyeliner. This one also I received, and I was impressed with this one as well. It was a nice felt tip uh, eyeliner, and it also went on really easy. This Wonder Beauty palette was a choice item of mine, and it is just as stunning in person, even more so than it is in this picture here. And I had the opportunity to wear it in my video, and I am really impressed with it. I love Wonder Beauty because the shades are exactly how you see them in the pan and you can build on them. So you don't have to spend a lot of your time blending out. It's not overly pigmented. Then this Anastasia Lee Beverly Hills, this was a choice item. And for some reason in my box, I didn't get my choice item this time. And that has only happened to me once before in all the years that I've been with BoxyCharm. So I did inform them and then they ended up giving me a $6 credit to use in the store. But I was looking forward to getting this, but it wasn't in my box. Then we have from Beauty For Certain, this is the perfect collab. They're saying it is uh, one shade will be navy and the other one will be bronze. I've received this one in the past. The navy that I got was very, very dark. It almost looked more black than navy, but some other people said that they received it and they really felt it was navy. So I'm really um, unsure on, on this one. Then we have the LES Cream Bronzer. Did not receive this one either, so if you have, please share. And then from Real Her, this Metallic Eyeliner Duo. I think I might have received this in the past, but I'm a big fan of Real Her. I have really been enjoying all of their products as well. Then from Tarte, this is their mascara that got me into Tarte years ago, more than 20 years ago. It is one of their first products, which is their four-in-one mascara. If you haven't tried it, this is one that I suggest you try. Item Beauty, this is one of my fave concealers. It is really just as good to me as the Too Faced. That's the one I compared it to. And I was impressed with the Doe Fit applicator being large and the actual formula as well. And it looks like they have a lot of shades available there too. Some Institute, this is a glycolic acid pads. This also was an absolute winner for me, so much so that when it was available in Ipsy's point section, I used a lot of my points, I think 1,800 of them, to get a, a refill of this actual product. It is really, really that good. And then from BoxyCharm, I have not seen this beauty washing machine. I saw a lot of, um, when they initially came out with this, uh, Yosef was still, or Joe was still one of the, the uh, you know, ahead of the realm, let's say. And uh, he was talking about this and there was a big hype on Amazon that you can get this for a lot cheaper. You're supposed to be able to put your beauty blender in here and it's supposed to wash it for you. But a lot of girls said it didn't work. So if you've had the opportunity to try it, it looks so cute. And I would love to do anything that helps us wash our beauty blenders and our brushes easier. That would be great. And then from Skin Ink Supplement Bar, this is another one that I did get in my box, but I haven't had the opportunity to use it yet, so please share. Same thing with the Earth Harbor. In one of my boxes, I did get this one, and what I liked about this one, it's supposed to be for acne-prone skin, which is something that I still struggle with, so I was excited about that. And then this $150 hair tool has been with us for a while. I have a couple of them, and I've given a couple away in my giveaways. So this is one that a lot of you have shared with me that you have enjoyed. This is really small, so I have it in my travel bag as a backup, but I have never had the opportunity or didn't take the opportunity to try it yet. But the few people that have written to me in the comments that they have gotten it and they really, really enjoy this product. So if you got this, I think you will be happy with that as well. And those are all the products that we could have got in January's BoxyCharm base. Now let's see what we could have gotten in our premium box. Starting with this first one here, it's a newer brand to me. I don't know about this brand. So if you do and if you got this, please share because I love trying cleansers. This is the Vita Yellow Fresh Cleanser. The next is from Hyde. This was my choice item and in premium you get to choose two choice items. And in one box I chose a light beige and the other one I chose in uh, natural beige. 
The light beige was a perfect match for me. It had more of a neutral undertone, whereas the natural beige had more of a warmer uh, undertone to it. Then we have from Ofra Cosmetics. This is a product that I have received in the past. It is a beautiful, long-lasting liquid lipstick, but Canyon is a really deep burgundy color. Next, we have here this Huda Beauty. This one was a treat to see in this box here because this was one of the products that I really, really enjoyed from Huda. I got this in an Allure Beauty box back in 2019 because I checked my notes, and it is a gorgeous orangey red with a little bit of a blue undertone to it. I actually wore it in my video uh, when we did the unboxing of my, I get two paid premiums on my channel. And the first box that I've already uh, shared with you guys, I was wearing this lipstick and I really, really enjoyed it. It really stays on long. This is another fantastic product from Item Beauty. This is her Lucky Line Long Wear Waterproof Gel Eyeliner Pencil. And ironically, this was one of the products that in the past I never got in my boxes and I really wanted to try it because I do like the Item Beauty brand. And I ended up purchasing it in the uh, drop shop for I think $3 or $4 in black. And the one that I got in my box uh, was brown. So now I have them and I'm excited about that because these really stay on. It takes everything, if even when I swatch it on my hand, to remove it. So this is fantastic. It really will stay and it is a waterproof gel eyeliner and it goes on smooth. Then we have from uh, Volition Beauty. This was my other choice. This is a strawberry vitamin C brightening serum. I use this. It goes on beautifully. I'm really impressed with this brand and I love that we get it in our boxes. And I feel the same way about Murad. This is a product that I received last month and I just started using it now. And what was unique about this eye serum was you're able to use it around your entire eye, meaning the eyelid as well as under the, uh, the orbital bone. Really, really excited about that as well. This, I was really surprised that it was in the premium because this Dominique Cosmetics was my choice item in base last month. And I was so impressed with it in the base. I said in that video, I remember either saying it or thinking it, that this belongs in premium. That's how fantastic this product is. And it ended up being in both my premium paid for boxes this month, even though it was a choice of mine in my base. So again, they gave me a coupon for $6. They consider this a duplicate item because if you get the base and the premium, they promise you that you're not going to get any of the same items in your boxes if they're under the same account. And because it was a choice item in my base last month, it ended up being a duplicate when I got it in both my paid for premiums this month. Then this one from uh, Rena Beauty. This is gorgeous. This Guilty Pleasure, I got this previously in Ipsy and it was one that I was using so often I had to push it to the back of my drawer so that I wouldn't reach for it. It is that perfect peachy nude that just I love. And now I'll have a backup of it because it was in one of my boxes. Then from TYNT Beauty, this is their Spa Water Gel Mask. This is another one that I think I've received previously and it is a really nice product as well. Then some from Seate London, another one that I have received previously. This is their Velvet Lip Liner in Cocoa. It is gorgeous. Everything that I have tried from Seate London has been an absolute winner as well. This was another one that was a possible choice item, but because I get the American Influencer box here, when that was a takeover box from LYS Beauty, this was one of the items that was in there, and it is really, really beautiful. I use it sparingly because I am more of a combo girl, and I find this one really gives a really strong glow, but I know glowing skin is really in for so many. But what I like about this, it is also a serum that has vitamin C and hyaluronic acid, which is why I continue to use it. I just use it sparingly. This was a real treat. This Uma Beauty Salute to the Sun, the wand on this, the actual brush applicator, is very similar to the Too Faced, uh, Better Than Sex mascara, but the formula that is in Uma is an absolute home run for me. Every mascara that I've tried from them, from their high-end luxury brand, which is which it, this Uma Beauty comes from, or the one that she makes for Walmart that's under the Uma name, but it says by Sharon C., I was able to, in Ipsy, pick up in the add-ons the three three fifty dollar mascara just to try it, and it impressed me just as much as this high-end one. So really happy that that was in my box as well. Then from Arthur Beauty, they have a rose quartz quad. This is another brand that we got introduced to through BoxyCharm from his original palettes. We were getting the full-size palettes. They were beautiful, and I really enjoyed using them as well. 
This one, for some reason, I ha always keep missing getting in my boxes, but a few people that have gotten it that I had the opportunity to watch a while ago mentioned this mask was really unique. So hopefully at one point it will show up in one of my boxes. Supposedly there's five masks inside here. So what's great about this is not only can you use a couple yourself, you can also choose to share with friends and family as well. Then from Kate, Kat Berkey, this is another one that is such a high-end brand and it is really, really a beautiful, beautiful face cream. I've received this before and I really enjoyed it. It is a vitamin C face cream. Oh, for Cosmetics, this was another one that was a choice and it was one that was in my Lux box originally. But then they made it a choice item here in premium this time around. But because I wanted to try the two different foundation colors, I ended up passing on this because these are full size. And every time I pull it out to use it, I am blown away by it. I used it in my videos to be able to share uh, when I opened up my premium to show everybody it in person. And I used it uh, on my face that day as well. And this is the Ofra Cosmetics On The Glow Pro Palette. It has bronzers, it has highlighters, it has blushes. It is the ultimate, ultimate palette. Like I said, it was in the Luxe box originally. Abel Skincare is another brand that I'm really, really enjoying and got introduced through BoxyCharm to this brand. And I really enjoyed every product. This one in particular was new to me, but it was in my box. It is more like a serum than a cream. It penetrated really quickly. It left a, it started feeling like a little cool initially, but it could be because it was a gel. But it definitely, I was able to wear it under my makeup and it really penetrated really nicely. Ciate London, this is a lip oil from them. It looks like we could have got a few different scents. And this is another one that I did not get in this box this month. And then the last item here would have been the Flight Mode High Altitude Hydrating Mask. I think I've received this before, but I'm not sure if which box I've received this in. So if you do remember that when you got it, please make sure to share that in the comments down below. So those are all the reveals of all the items that would could possibly be in our January boxes, be it if it was base or premium. Please share in the comments if you've already gotten your boxes and if there's any product in particular that stood out that you're absolutely loving or the other way, if there's anything that you got in your box that you tried and you were a little disappointed in, I would love to know that as well because that's what we do with each other here. We share in the comments so that we can share with each other the information as well as anything to do with the brands, the products, or if you got a great deal. All right, take care everybody, continue to stay safe and well, and I'll see you all soon again in my next video. Bye for now.